Singing in the shower is so fun until you get soap in your mouth and then it becomes a soap opera. <laughs> Lavender bergamot bar soap. Why would you do that? <laughs> that was me choking on soap. Anyways, welcome to my channel. My name is Kai Kinway and this is Artsy Fartsy Magic. When I play is on small. week I painted this thing so she can me out and we're gonna be doing the background so well if you're new to my channel I tend to pick random subjects mostly psychology related while simultaneously doing my arts it's just quite magical for this week's topic I think I'm just gonna go on a rant an educational rant. How to protect your energy from toxic people. That's the topic. All right. All right. I'm just waiting for Luna to just. Luna, what she doing? <laughs> okay, bye. See y'all. Wouldn't want to be ya. Actually, I wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> Being a dog would be so nice. You wouldn't have to worry about bills. You just sleep all day? Okay, I'm, I'm done. Let's get into art time. We are talking about protecting your energy and stopping yourself from draining it all. Energy in this sense is definitely a newer term that I've learned as I've gotten older. Real quick though, I thought this was so cute. I didn't realize my dogs were watching me spray paint the whole time and ignore the nose smudges. So anyways, back to the seriousness. Not really. The word energy, I used to think was such a basic hippie white girl saying. You sick bitch. Maybe that's who I am. You know what? Whatever, at least I own it. Energy by definition is the strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. In this case, we are focusing on mental activity. We all have our own mental capacity of energy and sometimes we give that energy to the wrong people. Wrong people meaning toxic as fuck people. And who are these toxic people I'm talking about? Some examples are narcissists, sociopaths, or people who keep taking and taking and taking all of your energy and never giving it back to you. You see, in social psychology, relationships are based off of two things, benefits and resources. One side gives resources and then the other side will give benefits and vice versa. If you are giving all your benefits and resources into a relationship and you aren't getting the same reciprocation, then maybe you should end that relationship because it's no longer serving you. It's draining your energy at that point. We all start with a cup full of water and several plants to nourish. What matters is what kind of plants are you going to water and nourish and are those plants going to do the same for you? Will they be able to give you nourishment as well, like an apple tree? If you feel like you have no energy left, it's time to think about the relationships you currently have. Who is making you feel this way and why? Sometimes when our minds are stressed, our bodies correlate to the stress as well. You might experience gut issues like diarrhea or nausea, back pain, high blood pressure, or epigastric pain, aka heartburn. If your physical body continues to compensate for this stress, this can cause serious physical illnesses later on in life like stroke, heart attack, or diverticulitis. Make your mental health and protecting your energy your number one priority. Your body will thank you for it. I used to think everyone had anxiety and it it was just normal. I mean, I'm talking extreme anxiety. Not necessarily social anxiety, but more so just wanting to have control of anything and everything going on in your life. Obviously, it doesn't work that way, and that's where anxiety comes into play. <laughs> My anxiety, anyways. But then I started to realize that it wasn't normal for me being 23 years old and on blood pressure medication because of how anxious and stressed out I was. I would just feel so overwhelmed and randomly get chest pain and think I'm dying not really realizing I'm having a panic attack. Now I've learned how to talk myself down from it once I feel it start happening. But it was a serious issue and it all started because my energy was being depleted by people that didn't deserve it. I used to think all the time I was never good enough. I put so much effort into literally everything I did and got nothing in return for it. And it made me feel worthless and underappreciated. I just thought maybe if I put enough time and effort into these relationships, it'd get better and I'd feel more fulfilled and maybe I'll be enough. Unfortunately, it took cutting those people out of my life for me to feel fully watered and nourished. 
Having people in your life that actually care about your well-being and love you for who you are and not someone you think you need to be is something I've learned to cherish and now I hold on to those people dearly because they mean so much to me. So how do you know you're dealing with people who are draining your energy? I made a list of signs that you are in a relationship with a toxic person. By the way, when I say in a relationship, I mean literally anyone you have a relationship with. This could be a friend, a family member, or a significant other. I mentioned this earlier, but this is a sign. Believing that you are not enough. You've been criticized for your appearance and abilities, ignored for your accomplishments, and expected to be perfect. You may suffer from feeling not good enough. And even when they do praise you, it seems insincere and only for things that make their image look better. You depend on what other people think of you and are continuously needing validation from others. You feel like you have to prove yourself over and over and over again. Sometimes you feel as though nobody really loves you for who you actually are, even if they say otherwise. The next sign is you believe you are responsible for other people's happiness. You may feel like you need to protect other people's feelings by avoiding conflict or speaking up. This person makes you feel like their love is conditional, something that can be taken away at any moment based on how well you please others. Other signs include feeling like your own feelings are not important. You believe you are a burden to others. You believe you should always hide your struggles. You have trouble opening up about your issues. You believe you are undeserving and you believe you can't trust your own decisions. They don't want their image challenged. Oftentimes they blame you for being selfish or self-centered. You feel as though you are unworthy of having love or happiness. You don't feel worthy of having anything good that happens in your life. These are all signs of a long-term relationship with a narcissist or toxic person. So if you notice that you are starting to feel this way, recognizing those feelings is definitely something to be aware of. You might not realize it that you've been feeling like this your entire life. Well, maybe you should really consider all of the people that are in your life and recognize who is making you feel that way. Now, these certain, this certain type of person, this, these people, <laughs> these people, <laughs> these people are super fragile. They're weak. They're insecure. They want to be in control. And the way they're going to get their control, quote unquote, is by making other people feel insecure so that way they can feed off of your energy. They love to make you feel like you are at your weakest point and it makes them feel like they have power over you. And that's what makes them feel better. That's what makes them feel happy. So never ever let someone like that be in your life. Narcissists are manipulative. They love to make you feel like you are the problem and you are the one that thinks the world is revolving around. They love to make you feel like you are the selfish one, you are the self-centered one, you're the egotistical one, but really it's them. It's because they grew up so insecure themselves that they love to make other people feel the same way and more because then it makes them feel like they are important, they are in control, and that brings them happiness. It literally brings them happiness and nothing else. And that's why when they walk into the room and the whole energy shifts, you can feel it. You can feel it when people like that walking in the room. It's for a fucking reason because they're toxic and because their love is so conditional. Your whole relationship with them is addicting because you want them to love you. You want them to praise you. You want them to be the person that you need them to be and they will never be that way and you have to accept it. But at the same time, like you still want that love from them and sometimes they give you a glimpse of it, but it's never actually real. It's all just a part of their mind games. They love mind games. And as you can tell, I'm getting angry because I've been dealing with this kind of relationship for a really long, long time and not just one person either. So it seems like if there's one, there's more. <laughs> So yeah, my first sign was obviously the high blood pressure. I'm a nurse, so I take my blood pressure at work and I realized like it, it was probably a combination of my job as well, but I realized something was definitely wrong in my life and I didn't know really exactly what it was until I started paying attention to the relationships in my life. Most people don't know they have high blood pressure, but one of the first signs is pay attention to headaches, guys. If you're having headaches and anxiety at the same time, it might be high blood pressure. High blood pressure is known as the silent killer anyways 
here's my painting. That wraps up this episode of how to protect your energy. If you liked learning, watching my arts, and chilling with me, give me a like and subscribe, and I will see y'all next home day. Peace, love, and magic. Why are you sitting like that, Spoon? <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks.